Greetings and salutations all. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about how to install Miniconda 3 on macOS. To begin, open up your favorite web browser and go to docs.conda.io forward slash en forward slash latest forward slash miniconda.html. Once you're on this page, scroll down to where you see the macOS X installer section. Go underneath the Python version 3.9 and select the Miniconda Mac OS X 64-bit package. This will download an installer package that, um, once done, you can easily double-click to launch um, the Miniconda 3 installer. In the Miniconda installer, go ahead and press continue to move on to the README section. The README part uh, explains exactly what this installer is going to do. Most importantly, it's going to place Miniconda 3 on your computer and it'll make a modification to your system's path value so that you are able to easily find where Miniconda is. If you go ahead and press continue, you're going to be prompted for a licensing agreement. Feel free to go through and read it, or you can be like me and just blindly agree to sign away your soul by pressing continue. Now, uh, Apple, of course, notes this, so you will also be prompted here to press agree um, to emphasize that you have understood the terms of this uh, software. So with that being done, we now are at the part where we need to uh, actually install uh, Miniconda 3. I recommend installing it in the default location uh, so that you can just go ahead and press this install button. Once that's done, the installer will take a little bit of time to go through and actually install the version of Miniconda. Once the installer is done, go ahead and press close and then move the installer to the trash so that you don't have um, this space being taken up by something that you no longer need. From there, we're going to check to make sure that Miniconda 3 has been successfully installed by going up to where we see the Finder uh, Spotlight symbol. So go ahead and click that and then type Terminal and press Enter to launch a terminal window. Now, when you launch the terminal window, it should look a little bit like so. Um, and what we can do is we can verify that Conda has been installed by typing out Conda. And you should see a series of um, uh, statements. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye now.